UCFC TV. We're down at Snibson uh, Discovery Museum. I'm with Phil and we're going to talk about the midfield and who's going to likely to start in the big opener against uh, Everton on Saturday. So Phil, let's start wide, shall we? Where, where are we going? Well, I think Marez is going to start. Okay. I think he's going to be exciting. Right. I think he's going to tackle some of those uh, Premiership defences. I think he's going to really relish yeah. it and enjoy it. Yeah, Ghost it's going to be he, he ghosted around at the weekend against Ferda Bremen. Yeah. Went around a few players with uh, consummate ease. Looks in uh, high form, in uh, fully fit and raring to go. I think he's probably, for me as well, our, our best uh, our best option at the moment, given our injury. Well, yeah. Right. Uh, whether Knockart will make it, he would have been. I would have had Marez and Knockart in yep. in the starting yep. team. Don't know if Knockart is. Or Brighton could have been a shout as well around that sort of yep. midfieldy yep. forward area. But again, I, I don't think he's going to be there for Saturday. So yep. um, we could be missing Lloyd Dyer. But uh, uh, might be. <laughs> what, a shame, what a shame that is as well. If we if we have got a couple of players injured now that that he's yeah. not around to. to to take his chance, but I'd love yeah. to have seen him play in the Premier League. Yeah, me as well. I think he's he gone. I think he would have caused some trouble with his pace. Yeah, but yeah. We keep talking about it, and he's gone. So he's gone. So <laughs> let him go. Let him go. Um, I think Drinkwater and James will be everybody's starting midfield pair. Certainly when yeah. they're both fit. Yeah. Um, they've looked really good last season. Yeah. I think you know. I'm sure Manu would be keeping an eye back on two of their former yeah. players when they've been talking about midfielders yeah. they could do with that. So I think they'll be relishing yeah. the chance. Maybe a jealous hungry. eye as well, a little bit, especially with Drinkwater. Yeah, I think he's looked pretty good in pre-season yeah. again, as as, the, as well as the end of last of most of yeah. last season. So I mean, he's such a versatile uh, midfielder, Drinkwater. He's got so many different facets to his game. It really sometimes it makes me wonder why. The loss of Man United let him go so, so cheaply and so easily. I mean, it just seems. Well, I suppose he just didn't cut it, and he's come through their ranks, didn't he, as a, yeah. as a youth player? But yeah. um, it'd be interesting to see Andy King as well. I yep. think a couple of weeks ago, I was thinking maybe he's on the outskirts of it, and I think uh, Watford or somebody was talking about coming in Rumors, for him. Yeah. But um, I think maybe, maybe there's a chance he might even make the starting team on on Saturday. Certainly played better than I'd seen him play in pre-season against. Um, against Werder Bremen on Saturday is the best performance I've seen him put in mm. in a Leicester shirt in pre-season. Again, when we're playing defensively, he could be that player who who links between the midfield and the attack at times. I yeah. mean, we've seen him score many great goals yeah. breaking forward. Yeah, and and I mean another another possibility is if we play the the 4-2-3-1 formation which which Pearson was dabbling with yeah. at the end of last season, then you're looking at probably Drinkwater and James playing in front of the the back four. Um and then in front of that with the three, maybe King could, could slot in there. Yeah, even. I certainly think that's where he may come into it. I mean, Hammond you've got for the sort of the reverse role, the defensive yeah, yeah. in between the midfield and the defence mm. uh, and breaking things up. So I, I think, you know, it may depend. I think we'll, we'll start to pick our team on who we're playing. I'm sure we'll have yeah. to do that. Yeah. We'll have to contain the opposition mm -hmm. and then try and attack them on the break and, yeah. and try and go that way. Yeah, cool. So, so shall we move on to the forwards? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I mean, we've got we've got a few to pick from. Uh, for me, it's always going to be Vardy. I think. Right. I, I'm looking forward to his pace. I think he's going to surprise teams in the early yep. part of the season. I think he's going to be fast and dynamic. Mm -hmm. He gets the. All the fans seem to love Vardy. He, yeah. You just know that if he's putting in 100, yeah. percent that the teams that he leads yeah. from the front. It's there. the effort, isn't it? It's it the, is. He sets the tone from the front. Yeah. With his with his closing down and he and he's just his sheer enthusiasm. Yeah. I think he sets the tone for the whole rest of the team when he's when he's at his game. If you see somebody running around like that, you just it gets everybody else going yeah. and it starts to show up other players who aren't yeah. doing that. And effort, it gees so. the crowd up, gets yeah. the atmosphere going, gets everybody involved. For me as well, um, you know, he's a real talisman for us. I think. And uh, definitely. Well, if he, if he can make that leap on like he did last season, then yeah. it could be great times for him. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I was thinking about Nugent again a couple of weeks ago. I was like, is he is he going to cut the mustard or not? He's had a good pre-season. Mm -hmm. Scored that sublime uh, goal against oh, Warsaw, wasn't absolute it? Absolute cracker of the outside of his foot, yeah. Yeah, real Blind. Bobby Dazz, was it? <laughs> yeah. say. So that was superb. Uh -huh. I, I think maybe he'll be in there in the starting line. But yeah. I, I think Pearson will probably start with a lot of the players who got him up last season. Uh -huh. uh, Alula, Uli, oh, Ul yeah, Uluja, that's something it. like that. <laughs> I mean, eight million pounds—a record signing. Yeah, surely he's going to be in the team, but yep. for me, I, I'm not sure. No, me not neither. Sure. Me neither. And and uh, he played the second half against Berda on Saturday, and to me, he didn't look like he was banging down the door like Nugent is. I mean, Nugent all pre-season has been hammering on Pearson's door. Yeah, he looks like he wants it. Really wants it, and really yeah. wants this Premier League shot, and. Um, what much as Aluja's got 
a, a, a more of a physical presence maybe as a, as a stature uh, can can take the ball to his head more maybe yeah. and gives us that dimension um, he's not quite maybe the the enthusiastic no. um, attacking drive that Nugent's got at the moment I would say and I mean Nugent's been there seen seen it and done yeah, it in the Premier true, League true, a, a good few years ago but he's yeah. tasted it got yeah. that one England cap yeah but he he has he'll know what it's about more than mm. a lot of Leicester players so yeah. probably why he is so determined yeah. or looks to be so determined yeah so I think I think perhaps it's his place to lose but again it's his goals he's got he's got to pop them in yeah sometimes last season he seemed to need three or four chances and mm. didn't you know, I know he scored 20 plus goals, so yep. it's hard to criticise him. But quite a few yeah. of those were penalties. Yeah, true, true. But I mean, he does he does crop up at an absolute screamer every now and then, a real yeah. sublime one. Yeah. And uh, that little bit of class might might just give him the extra edge. So the season. So for me, it's Vardy and Nugent up front in a. Yep. I'm going for more a more 4-4-2 yep. sort of formation. Yep. Yep. How about yourself? Yeah, if it's two, then it's Vardy and Nugent for me also. Do you think it will be 4-4-2 though? I'm not sure. No. I think I think he might go 4-2-3-1. Yeah. I've just got a funny feeling you might do that. I think it's, I think it gives us more defensive cover, um, and I think maybe he'll be a, he'll be thinking along those lines. But I would prefer if it was my choice, I would prefer him to play four four two, and I'd prefer to see Vardy and Nugent starting up front. Okay, so that's mine and Simon's formation today. No Steve Walsh to interrupt us, so we've managed to get through <laughs> it today. Uh, comment your thoughts and let us know who you would put in your starting team, and we look forward to seeing those on one hundred percent LCFC. We'll